Hey everybody, it's Patrick. It's Tuesday, and on Tuesdays I talk about long hair. Most of the time when I'm talking about long hair, I'm not talking about my own. Uh, about the beginning of this year, I stopped talking about my own personal hair growth journey and started talking about general hair tips, um, how to get past the awkward stage, how to take care of your hair, um, all of that sort of stuff. And it wasn't so much about me and what I was doing with my hair, but what you might be wanting to do with your hair, or just general hair information. Today I wanted to take a step back from that and talk about my own hair journey, where I am right now, and what I'm thinking about for the future. Now a lot of you have been with me since the beginning. I posted my very first hair uh, update, I guess. Uh, it was a time lapse of my hair growth for all of 2014. I started growing my hair on January 1st of 2014. I didn't start with a cut. I probably had gone a couple of months before I started actually growing my hair, and that's just I made the decision to stop cutting it. I started taking a picture every day, and I think that's what got me through the first year of growing my hair. After that, I had a full year of hair growth under my belt, as it were, and I put together all of those pictures into that time-lapse video and posted that to YouTube, and that was the very first hair update I did on this channel. Through most of 2015, what I did was just give a hair update on whatever month I was on, whether it was from month 13 all the way up through month 24, and after that, even though there was a little bit of tips about uh, hair care and whatever, it was very closely tied to what I was doing with my own hair. And then in 2016, this year, I spent a lot more time researching hair trends, uh, looking up information that people had asked me about, and just giving the best information that I could find about growing long hair as a man in 2016. As of January 1st, 2017, I will officially, and officially is just in my own head, have been growing my hair for three years. I've had one haircut in that entire time, haven't really trimmed it all that much, and I'm pretty lucky in that my hair has just kind of done its thing. The split ends are really pretty much under control. Um, I haven't had too, too much thinning, although it really is starting to thin out on top. And it's really served me well. I've been very happy with my hair at the length that it is now. Um, it's much longer than I expected to grow my hair. I really did expect when I started growing my hair that I would probably get to my shoulders and then I would keep it there or keep it a little bit shorter than that. A couple of days ago, I was watching a video on a sculptor. Um, I will link it somewhere, I can I can never remember where the cards go now. Um, I was watching him uh, do his work and I noticed that I really dug the haircut that he had. It reminded me very much of what my hair looked like about halfway through 2014 when it was kind of in a graduated mullet, for lack of a better term, um, with a little, lot longer on the back with layers going from sort of bangs all the way down. And I started thinking, maybe that's what I should go for now. Um, I know that a lot of people are very attached to the idea of keeping long hair forever, and that is something that I've honestly thought about, though at my age, I'm 48 years old, I'll be 49 next year, it gets harder to do. Quite honestly, your hair and your skin and your nails, they all change. Uh, somewhere around 40, I started noticing your skin gets a lot drier, um, you start wrinkling, your hair gets thinner and it gets drier, you're, you lose your color, you lose your luster, all of that starts happening. It happens to everybody who ages. Um, and so having the long hair is not only just something that is unusual for someone my age as a man, but also it gets less and less easy to take care of. That uh, combined with the fact that this length gives me about three options for style, two of which I like. Uh, the first one is of course wearing it down, which I do in all my videos. Um, the second is just a basic ponytail where I pull it back um, and that's most of the time. If I'm at work, if I'm doing anything that requires my hair to not fall into my face, if I'm cooking, if I'm eating, I usually just pull it back into a basic ponytail. And then you can also put it up into a bun, which I pretty much only do when I go into the shower and I'm not washing my hair. That's really quite limiting, and it also if it's not laying absolutely perfectly, if I don't have a brush nearby, um, if there's any bit of wind, it tends to just fly all over the place and be really, really a pain in the neck to take care of. And while I've really enjoyed having my hair at this length for as long as I have, I'm starting to think that 2017 will be the year that I go a bit shorter. 
Now by shorter, I probably don't mean that I'm going to go back to the very short haircut that I used to sport before I started growing my hair out. I really do like having a bit of length to my hair. I do like it to go beyond my ears, probably closer to my collarbone. Um, but I'm really starting to think that this uh, extended length that goes halfway down my chest, which is, is quite long right now, is probably not going to last for too much longer. One of the things that I do tell people is when they start to find themselves get a little bit tired of their style, if they find it too much uh, work to deal with, if you are just saying, oh, I'm just sick of it, I'm getting tired of it, give yourself some time. And I have about three weeks, yeah, two and a half, three weeks before the end of the year, so that's the time I'm giving myself. Um, cutting your hair is one of those things that you can do at any time, but once you do it, it's done. There's no way of putting the hair back. You just have to wait for it to grow again. So I really have to make this decision as to whether or not I want my hair to stay at this length for much longer, or if I want to just change things up and go for something different. Also, the hair channel is something that I really am proud of. I've, I've gotten quite a number of subscribers who only come for the hair videos, and the other stuff I do on my channel is not something that interests them, and I completely understand that. And that's also been something that has kept me with the long hair for as long as I've had it. I really have enjoyed talking to all of you. I really enjoy looking up new information and all of that. And part of the reason that I haven't even considered cutting my hair is because I thought, if I cut my hair to a shorter style than what I have right now, would I give that up? And do I want to give that up in the next year? Is over a hundred videos about long hair, is that enough for anybody to really talk about long hair? And that may very well be the case. Now, I haven't made any decisions yet, uh, but I am kind of leaning towards getting something a bit shorter. I don't know how much shorter, and I might do it in stages. I might go up a few times before I land on the style that I like very much, but I just thought that I might give you a little bit of detail about what I'm thinking about. What about you guys? Are you thinking about anything to do with your hair? Um, are you in the middle of growing your hair and you are happy with it? Have you had long hair for a while and you're thinking about changing it? Let me know in the comments down below and tell me what you're thinking about doing in 2017 with your hair. I'm here every Tuesday talking about long hair. I'd love it if you'd subscribe and keep up with my hair updates as well as all the other stuff on my channel. Uh, thank you for joining me this time. I'll talk to you next time.